It is a holiday tradition. Salvation Army kettlebell ringers raising money for those in need. Some of them wear festive clothing, some of them dance, but one volunteer indicator has a different approach. News 19's Deidre Briscoe has the story. Salvation Army is known for its bell ringers during the holiday season, but singing is not a requirement. This bell ringer uses gospel songs to pass the time. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Salvation Army says its Red Kettle debuted in 1891 to fund Christmas dinner for 1,000 families in need. The bell ringing didn't start until the 1900s after people were ignoring the Red Kettle volunteers. This year, one volunteer is singing along with his bell ringing. Instead of singing Christmas carols, he's singing gospel hymns. I grew up in the Church of Christ and uh, I still attend the Church of Christ for worship services and we're a cappella singers in worship. We don't have any instruments in the worship and so uh, we take this from Colossians 3:16 and Ephesians 5 verse 19 where we are to sing and make melody within our hearts. You don't have to be a good singer, you just have to sing and, and know and believe in who you're singing to and so uh, I believe that the gospel hymns I sing will encourage myself and will encourage those who hear. The Salvation Army says donations to the Red Kettle go back into the local community. They say donations can feed a family of four for an entire week. Dalton says he believes giving is our purpose. There's no better way to spend your money. When you look at Jesus and his ministry, he's always helping people. He's always coming to those, communing with those who are less fortunate, impoverished people. Um, and so I think that as a disciple of Jesus, that's what you should be doing is helping those who are uh, less privileged than yourself. Dalton is spending his Christmas break from Heritage Christian University by ringing the bells. And it was actually his mom who encouraged him to try bell ringing this year. Indicator, Deidre Briscoe, News 19.